Earlier in the video, we saw how automated design and building tools in Chief Architect can be used for kitchen design. Let's now explore additional design tools to create this custom master bath. With the shape of the room in place, the walls are set up for a 10-foot room. We'll draw a lowered ceiling section at 9 feet and shape it to the room. Using the CAD tools, we can place a hexagon shape in the room that will cut the lower ceiling plane and extend that section up to the 10-foot area above. Next, place one more hexagon shape and then assign a molding profile and size. Finally, we'll choose a ceiling fan fixture and place it into the alcove. Continuing with the design, we'll add cabinets by using the cabinet tools. On the first base cabinet, we'll change the backsplash to 18 inches, remove the drawer, and choose a new door style. Next, resize the cabinet to 48 inches, and with the material painter, choose a color and apply it using the stain mode. We can copy this cabinet and create another similar style cabinet with a bank of drawers. We'll lower the height and place it slightly below the other cabinet. Next, let's choose a vessel sink and faucet and place them on the cabinets. Using the elevation camera, we'll place the mirrors and the lights. Remember, items from current trends are included with Chief Architect. And best of all, the program includes the tools to import any 3D symbol you may have from a favorite supplier. In an elevation view, as previously done in the kitchen, we can add dimension details and annotations like in this example. To create the walk-in shower and area for the tub, we will use one of the CAD tools and draw a slab for the shower platform. Now, simply reshape and set its thickness and elevation. Next, copy this slab platform and concentrically resize it. To create an edge for this step, draw a line along the front of both platforms and then assign a molding profile. To create the shape for the shower glass on the top platform, as was done with the stair edge profile, assign a simple profile for the glass wall and then enter the size to make it reach the ceiling. The next step will be to assign the materials for the shower platform and add the hardware for the door and the shower fixture. Using the CAD tools, creating the shower is quick and easy. There are powerful tools in Chief Architect to create nearly any custom design. To build the tub platform, we can use a similar process as was done for the shower. Simply place a slab and then resize it. A cutout will be needed for the tub enclosure. This is an optional step, but will help the final view to look better. Using an imported Kohler fixture, we'll place and position the tub into the cutout, add the faucet, and apply colors and materials. The custom bath design is taking shape. Next, let's choose the wall and floor materials. For the floor, we'll place a tile, adjust the material creating a 20-inch tile, and then rotate it. For the walls, let's select a brick material and use the color chooser to match the color from the raised ceiling. With the color chooser, any color from a photo or website can be captured and applied into your design work. Using similar steps that were done earlier in the video, we can place the remaining accessories. On average, creating this entire scene would take a Chief Architect user approximately 30 minutes. Chief Architect can help you to sell your interior work using powerful design and visualization tools, and to keep your costs down, by producing your own construction drawings.